Hey there, it's Walt. I've been aware that I've been hearing some themes of regret lately. I've heard strains of it appear among the entering class of the influential author formula. And it shows up in words like, wow, I wish I had done this sooner. I wish that I had started my book earlier. And I'm aware that I hear it too among members of the consultant success formula. You know, we work with mid-career professionals who are pivoting out of careers and wanting to create uh, consultancies that take their background and experience and allow them to do work that brings them joy. And I hear a very similar refrain, wow, I didn't know it could be this way. I wish that I had done this sooner. And, you know, regret's a tough thing. You know, tomorrow is promised to no one and now is all we have. And I think there's something that gets in the way for us around doing that thing that we so want to do. And of course, one of the things that gets in the way is, is fear. You know, our comfort zones are called comfort zones because they're pretty damn comfy even when they're not. And going beyond those places of comfort can be fearful. There's also that pernicious law of physics about an object at rest remains at rest. There's inertia. And I think that inertia piece may be related to why we don't start earlier. But there's another, another troubling syndrome that gets in the way. And I call this SPS, smart person syndrome. And the smart person sits around and evaluates the possibilities. Should I start now? Am I ready to start now? Do I have enough training and certification? Do I have enough time? Are my financial pieces in place? Am I ready? Is the time right? Now, I'm not dissing planning. In fact, we teach a lot of powerful planning processes. I think planning is really, really important. But smart people syndrome keeps us stuck. You know, who, who can criticize a smart person if they're evaluating the costs and the benefits, the risks and the rewards? It's, it's really important to do that. But what's true is that there is magic in the starting that when we start out, all sorts of things begin to appear, resources and people and opportunities begin to flow to us. And we actually get to test the ideas that run around our smart people's brains in the real marketplace and get real market feedback to what we've been thinking about. And when we spend all of this time in our brilliant minds, when we spend all of this time in analysis, there really, there really is paralysis. And time goes by and we don't start. And we don't start and we don't start. And, you know, the, uh, the wealthiest place in the world is the cemetery where, you know, all of the unfulfilled dreams, all of the unfulfilled ideas, all of the books that were never written, all of the projects that were never started, they're all there. And if we have this sense of wanting to write the book, wanting to start the career, wanting to launch the program or the product, wanting to get that out in the world, that's the call of our hearts speaking to us. That's telling us that we have something that we need to get out into the world. And so we have an obligation to overcome inertia, to put aside SPS, smart person syndrome, and to start. And in the starting, we allow for the other law of physics, an object in motion stays in motion. 
And that's the beautiful thing. You know, the hardest step of all for me as a runner is that first one out the front door in the morning. Who feels like starting, particularly when it's cold and dark and rainy? No one. But when we start, you know, the muscles start to limber up and you start to smell the air and everything starts to feel better, we're in motion. I know that's true in writing too. It's, I love to write, but it's rare that I feel like writing. And then I sit down and I begin. Or if I'm creating some new copy or a new product or a new program, that beginning part is hard. And there's no magic to it. It's just a question of starting. And in the starting, there is amazing power. So whatever you've been thinking about, start it. Start it now, even if you just start in little steps. In fact, little steps are fine. It's the small steps over time that lead to the magnificent results. Just start, start out and see what happens. Martin Luther King Jr. said, take the first step in faith. You don't need to see the whole staircase. Just, just take that first step because we want to live without regret. Make it a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Talk soon.